Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Claire Bear here with kind of an informational slash thank you video to <clears throat> the Grady Hospital staff. Uh, this time, the uh, CT scan staff, everybody in that wing. Thank you. You did a great job. You, I mean, like, seriously, everybody was so nice. Um, from the lady that put in my IV, whose name was Clara, with an A, um, to the, um, C the CT scan tech. Like, everybody was super nice. And I just really appreciate any time I go to a medical facility and I feel welcomed. I feel cared about. Thank you to... The Grady staff on the 10th floor in the CT scan section. Um, so, CT scan. Why did I have to have it? What is it? What does it do? What is it good for? Absolutely something. Uh, so, <laughs> basically, I may have a second hernia at my navel. I've already had surgery before to correct that issue a little over two years ago and it's back. I'm not sure why. Um, the first time they told me my umbilicus did not close after birth. So that's why I had a hernia. Um, this time, you know, when they did surgery, they went in, they stitched up the opening, and then they stitched up my navel. That's it. No mesh, no nothing. This time, I don't know why it possibly is back. Now, I say possibly because I don't find out my results until tomorrow. A CT scan, aka computed tomography, aka CAT scan, is where this machine that's kind of shaped it's shaped like a donut it's not kind of it's shaped like a donut like a large donut you could fit through uh just think of homer simpson floating through the donut that's basically what it is so It's like magic with a life-size donut because you're on this um, little levitating table thing and you lay down and through the donut, you go through the donut. C-Scan is a computer processed combination of multiple x-rays from different angles. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> It's basically, what do my insides look like without you having to cut me open first? Like, like seriously, you lay on this board, and here's that donut. It's gonna get graphic here, kids. On, on what part of your body needs to be scanned. The little board comes up, and you, the donut, this is the donut, this is you. You go inside like that. And your feet come out on the other side and your head's out on this side so you're not like not in anything you're just going through something <laughs> aren't we all so yeah um but before that happens they have to give you an IV the IV is so that they can put the put the intravenous contrast solution into your veins to more or less light up the parts of your body that they need to see. So this fluid that they put in, it's like a lot, like a bottle that was this big. And all of that went into me, into that tiny little hole they made in my arm, like all of, like, I'm not even kidding, like all of that was injected in and 
really, it was a super fast process. So as soon as it went in, he was like, okay, how do you feel? He was like, you're going to feel warm. Um, so literally when he was asking me how I was feeling, I could, I could feel it going into my arm because that was quite a lot of fluid being injected in such tiny, tiny vein. Um, so I could feel it going in. And then like, as I was talking, I felt like the back of my throat instantly got warm and like warmth. Like, I just felt like if you know when it's winter and you can see your breath, that's what it felt like. So as I was talking, I could like feel it. So it, it was like, eh, eh. And then it started traveling down. I didn't really feel this part. I didn't feel anything during through here. But when it got to my lady parts, it got really warm. Like, it's so weird. How do I explain that? Like, once it got to my <laughs> it felt like it oh ooh it kind of felt like a heating pad like a nice warm soothing heating pad in the shape of just a cup just <sighs> it was it was it was it was weird but who doesn't like warm it was nice uh and then after it left there, it, it evidently went down my veins and my legs. I didn't feel that part, but it was like it, like it sat in the heels of my feet. And that's like the parts that I noticed the most. It felt like it was coming out of my mouth. Like my breath was hot, that's what it felt like. And then it felt like my <clears throat> lady parts got warm. <laughs> and then it sat in the heels of my feet like the heels of my feet were warm but other than that no pain and um no other side effects so yeah looking forward to finding out what's up with me tomorrow CT scan not scary at all easy quick the only pain was the stick so anyways who wants to see the stick let's see if I can show you guys don't worry this is just from my um, sweatshirt boy this tape Ow! Oh my god. <laughs> it really, man, this is like the strongest tape. Does the Gorilla Glue people, do the, do the Gorilla Glue people make this tape? Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, is there hair there? Ow! Mm. Ow. Okay. Oh yeah, you can't even see it. Can you? No. Ow, 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 ow. There's hair there. Okay. Uh, no. no, there's hair all right there. Oh, God. Why? Ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Hair. Maybe go the other way. See the stick. It was a nice clean stick Miss Clara Phillips made. Thank you, hunty. Now to the task of removing the sticky part of the tape, which that medical tape sticky stuff is really hard to get off. I think with alcohol it comes off fairly easy. I'm not sure, but just washing in soap and water is not gonna get this off, I promise you. I try. I had my follow-up appointment today and what I was told was that I have another 
umbilical hernia, just as I thought, because I've been in like way too much pain since um, like the first one, like seriously. Um, usually some sort of pain almost every day, kind of sucks. And I'm happy that I'll be having surgery soon to repair the second hernia. And I also have some sort of nodules and he said it with an S. I only felt one, but I don't like to press on my navel because it hurts like that bad. Like I'm, it's that sensitive where I don't really like to touch it. Um, and because of that, I wear tights almost all the way up to my bra line. Like, uh, what's wrong with you? Because I can't stand, I can't even stand for the seatbelt to like be on it. It hurts. So anyways, surgery soon. I don't know how much of surgery day I can get on film, but I'm going to try to keep you guys updated. So thanks for watching. Um, if you found this informative or entertaining at all, please, by all means, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, since I'm going to have surgery coming up soon, I'm going to be out like for six weeks. I can't go to work for six weeks. So if you'd like to sponsor me during my downtime, feel free to cash at me. Um, it's Claire Sunshine. C-L-A-R-E-S-U-N-S-H-I-N-E, like the sun is doing right now. Claire Sunshine. So thanks, you guys. Till next time. Okay, bye.